Break one nine, I'm Rick, your friendly neighborhood marketing guy and trucking dummy. Here to smarten you up by asking the questions you're too afraid to ask. Do you remember when you were a kid and you would pass by the big rig on the highway and you would do one of these numbers? And they would honk that big air horn? Well, I'm already learning that it's more complicated than that because you have two horns, one on the wheel and the big air horn up above. When do you honk which one? Are there rules to that? To help smarten me up, I've got Stan Kasterkey, head of training over here at Prime Inc. And one of the smartest guys I know in trucking. He's gonna get us the answers that we need. So Rick, you know, it's great that you're asking these questions so people actually know the importance of the air horn compared to the city horn. So let's talk about the city horn on the truck. You know, um, there's times that you can be very frustrated and maybe the city horn doesn't seem sufficient. But if you're making someone aware of something, the city horn is the proper um, item to use. Um, it really is for more um, crowded types of situations. You know, in a situation where you're backing up to a loading dock, before you ever start backing, you should use that city horn to make individuals around the truck aware that you're going to be backing up. That city horn will be what will make people aware that you're backing up or that you're moving slowly, even if you're pulling forward. Just use that city horn to make people aware of it. Awesome. Well, let's try that city horn first. Now, if you're going down the highway and you see a deer coming out in front of you, or if you see a buffalo or whatever that situation may be, or you see a vehicle that's quite a ways down the road and you're trying to make them aware of your presence, the air horn may be the proper thing to use. Typically in a city setting, the air horn is too abrupt and too aggressive an uh, uh, item to use. So you want to make sure not to startle someone because that could end up creating a, an even bigger or a hazardous situation uh, by using that air horn. So what about when like I was a little kid and I pull off the old driving by the big rig? How about then? You know it's always exciting as a little kid you see these big vehicles going down the highway and drivers are such a friendly um, group of people. They want to be pleasing and there may be times that you'll get them to honk that air horn. Not a bad thing. We just need to be careful that if we have someone asking us to do that, we need to know what our surroundings are. If it's going to startle someone else and create an unsafe situation, then we probably don't want to do that. We can just wave and give them the thumbs up at that point. Okay, I guess if you don't want to be fun like that. But more importantly, can I honk the air horn? Rick, we are in a controlled environment here, so it would just make my day to watch you honk that air horn. Finally, this is what I've been waiting for. Uh, 